Welcome to Bot Sailor. In this video, we will show you how to use the live chat of Bot Sailor for a Telegram bot. Generally, we are not able to see the conversation of a user with the Telegram bot, but we really want to know how far the bot got in a chat with a person. For that reason, Bot Sailor has introduced the live chat feature. We can observe the entire bot's conversation on Bot Sailor's live chat, and we can even take control of the bot and respond to the user as needed. Today, we'll look at how to use the Bot Sailor live chat effectively. We can find the Bot Sailor's live chat on the dashboard's left navigation menu. So this is Bot Sailor's live chat. We can see all of the bot's recent subscribers on the left side panel. By default, the most recent one is selected. To retrieve their message window, we just need to choose the subscribers from the list. We can change the bot account from here, if we have multiple bots added to Bot Sailor. From the Bot Sailor's live chat, a human, instead of a bot, can send message from here. Just type the message and hit the send button or hit enter on the keyboard. That is, a human can take over the bot reply, the message will appear exactly, as it was sent by the bot. And, when the user replies to that message, it will appear in the live chat. The most exciting feature of this live chat is that, we can send a post back or a bot reply to the user from here. If we just click on this robot we will see the list of bots, postbacks, user input flows, and sequences. All we have to do now is click to send that specific bot, or postbacks, or whatever it is. Users will receive that message on Telegram. So, using live chat, we can now send a bot reply or type a message. We can reload the subscribers list, to fetch the latest subscribers if there are any. We can also change the reload time from the list. This reload time is used to fetch the telegram messages. The less time we select, the faster we can see the messages. We can see the subscriber overview on the right side panel of live chat. From actions, we can unsubscribe the user, reset the user input flow and synchronize subscriber data. Then, we can remove or add a label to the subscriber, to remove we need to click on the close button. And, to add a label, just click on the label field and select the label from the list. In the same way, we can add or remove a sequence. Then, we just need to click on the Save Changes button to save it. Here we can see all the details of the subscriber. As we have added a sequence to this subscriber and saved the changes, this subscriber should get the sequence messages. If we go to the subscriber manager and select the subscriber, we can see that the label and the sequence have been added to the subscriber. Yes, the subscriber has got the first message of the sequence that was set up for 5 minutes message. We're in the darkness without the live chat, since we can't watch a user's communication with the bot. So, if you're utilizing a Telegram bot to engage with your consumers, live chat is a must-have feature. On Bot Sailor we can create a bot and can also monitor the conversation between the bot and the user. Bot Sailor has so many useful features and everything is for free. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.